Tyler from Spire Sports, and who are some of the must plays in fantasy football for week five this week? I'm going to give you some of my favorite players at each position that if you have them, you should be playing them this week in fantasy football. I make new content like this every single day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, let's get into the video. The first player on the list is going to be Matthew Stafford. In tonight's Thursday night game, you have the Seattle Seahawks versus the Los Angeles Rams and what should be a really good game. Currently, you have the Seattle defense giving up the eighth most points to the quarterback position. And you have Matthew Stafford, who's the sixth quarterback in fantasy football right now. This game currently has an over and under over under of 54 and a half points. So expect a lot of points. Los Angeles Rams are currently favored by two points. So they should do a lot of scoring in this game. There should be a lot of scoring in general in this game. So fire up Matthew Stafford this week. For me, he's a borderline top five play at the quarterback position. The next player on the list is going to be Kirk Cousins. In this past weekend, it wasn't the greatest from Kirk Cousins. He played uh, the Cleveland Browns. And right now, Cleveland honestly looks like they have a top tier defense. So it wasn't a good game. But expect a bounce back game this upcoming week against the Detroit Lions. And what should be a high scoring game as well. Expect Kirk to bounce back in a big way he's a top 10 play at the quarterback position for me this week the first running back on the list for me is going to be Damian Harris Damian Harris the past two weeks has not been good but he's had really tough matchup against the New Orleans Saints and Tampa Bay Buccaneers both of those defenses are one of the top defenses against the run in the NFL so expect him to bounce back in a big way against the Houston Texans who are currently giving up the ninth most points to the running back position there were some really encouraging things that we saw from Damian Harris last week. The first game without James White, who James White is now out for season. Damian Harris played on 61% of the snaps and played on 60% of the passing down snaps for this offense. Both of those are season highs for him. So if that's going to continue, expect him to have a really good outing against the Houston Texans that this team is nearly 10 point favorites in. So expect a heavy dose of Damian Harris. He's a top 20 play for me this week at the running back position. The next running back on the list is going to be Daryl Henderson. And if you didn't watch my video, check out my video up here above. You need to be buying in on Daryl Henderson right now. Daryl Henderson's playing all the snaps. He's running routes. Everything that you want to see, he's seeing red zone work for this team, all the red zone work. So everything you want to see in a running back, he's seeing. Now he gets an A-plus matchup against the Seattle Seahawks, who I talked about earlier with Matthew Stafford. This defense is giving up a bunch of points to all the positions. Right now, they're giving up the third most points to the running back position. Daryl Henderson is averaging the 10th most fantasy points at the running back position per week. Fire him up. He's a top 10 play this week in a very high scoring game. So Daryl Henderson, the second running back. The next player on the list is going to be Mike Davis. And Mike Davis gets the New York Jets, who the New York Jets are currently giving up the most points to the running back position this year. And this is going to be the week that he's going to outscore Cordell Patterson. And Cordell Patterson is going to finally regress. Watch, it's going to be the opposite. But that's what I'm calling this week. Currently, you have Mike Davis, who's currently playing the 12th most snaps at the running back position, while you have Patterson, Cordell Patterson, who's currently playing the 44th most snaps at the running back position. So there's a massive difference. Mike Davis is one of only four running backs to see top 20, to be top 20 in carries at the running back position and also top 10 in targets at the running back position. The other running backs are Austin Eckler, Saquon Barkley, and Najee Harris. Those are the only running backs. He's seeing really good volume right now in a really good matchup. For me, he's a top 20 play and is going to really be a sell high candidate after this week. So play him while you can and then sell high after his good game this week. So Mike Davis, the third running back. The next player on the list for me is going to be Leonard Fournette against the Miami Dolphins. And I was wrong about Leonard Fournette heading into the season. I thought Ronald Jones would be the guy to have in this backfield, but right now it's definitely Leonard Fournette. This past weekend, he played on over 80% of this team's snaps, and you did have Giovanni Bernard out, and he might be back this week, but I still like Leonard Fournette because this is a game that this team should win. So expect a heavy dose of Leonard Fournette once again against a Miami team that's currently giving up the fourth most points to the running back position. For me, he's currently RB20 this week, so he's a top 20 play. Fire up Leonard Fournette if you have him. The first wide receiver on the list, there's actually going to be two of them, is going to be Marvin Jones and LaVisca Chenault. Start your wide receivers versus the Tennessee defense. That needs to be a weekly theme. Start your wide receivers against the Tennessee defense. 
Last week, you had Corey Davis, who scored over 20 fantasy points. And this is a defense that's currently giving up the second most points to the wide receiver position. So you start your wide receivers every single week against Tennessee. This game should be a pretty high scoring game. And right now, without DJ Chark, he's out for season. Both these guys, for me, are top 30 plays at the wide receiver position. So fire them both up. I really like them this week. Marvin Jones and LaVisca Chenault. The next group of wide receivers, there's going to be another duo of wide receivers here. It's going to be Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. Both these guys, for me, are must plays if you have them. Now, this is if T. Higgins is obviously able to play, which he's on track to play this week. So I think he'll play. Now, Tyler Boyd, if you have Tyler Boyd, he's more of like a top 40 play for me this week at the wide receiver position. You're not going to have Jair Alexander in this game. So this defensive secondary is not nearly as good as it is with him in the lineup. So fire up both these guys. This, this game currently is projected to have the fourth highest point total. So a lot of points should be scored in this game. Play the wide receivers if you have them. Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. The last wide receiver on the list for me is going to be Emmanuel Sanders. Right now, you have the Kansas City Chiefs giving up the 10th most fantasy points to the wide receiver position. And Emmanuel Sanders right now is a top 25 wide receiver in fantasy football. This game features two premier offenses in the Buffalo Bills and Kansas City Chiefs. It's currently projected to be the highest scoring game of the entire weekend. So start your players that you have in this game right now. Emmanuel Sanders, for me, is a top 30 play at the wide receiver position. If you have him, you should be playing him. It depends on your options, but he's a top 30 play at the wide receiver position. The first tight end on the list for me is going to be Mike Kosicki. And I know it's not really fair to do, but let's take out week one when he inexcusably played under 40% of this team snaps. Under 40%. What were they thinking? I don't know. He's one of the better tight ends in the NFL. So we take out week one. Since week two, he's currently tight end number four in fantasy football. With Jacoby percent under center, he's looking really good right now. And I just envision him long term being really good, especially now you have Wolf Fuller out of this offense. He's now on IR, which was bound to happen. Let's be for real. He's not on the PEDs anymore, but you have Mike Kosicki, one of the better tight ends, in my opinion, in the NFL in an A plus matchup against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are currently giving up the third most points to the tight end position and a game that Miami really should be trailing early and often. So. Fire up Mike Kosicki this week. He's a borderline top five play at the tight end position for me. And the last player on the list is going to be Dalton Schultz. Dalton Schultz last year was a top 10 tight end in fantasy football. And that's without Dak for majority of the season. Now, Blake Jarwin did get hurt last year and it really opened the way for da Dalton Schultz. Right now, he's currently a top five tight end in fantasy football with Dak Prescott. He's a must play at the tight end position every single week. If you have him, fire him up from now on because tight end is pretty ugly as is and he's playing a lot of snaps for this offense one of the higher powered offenses in the nfl so dalton schultz from now on is a must start at the tight end position so with that being said if you enjoy this content do me a big favor smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and have a great day